For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Hebrews 12, verse 6. The Lord can bring victory out of that which may seem to us discomfiture and defeat. We are in danger of forgetting God, of looking at the things which are seen, instead of beholding by the eye of faith the things which are unseen. When misfortune or calamity comes, we are ready to charge God with neglect or clerk or cruelty. If he sees fit to cut off our usefulness in some line, we mourn, not stopping to think that thus God may be working for our good. We need to learn that chastisement is part of his great plan, and that under the rod of affliction, the Christian may sometimes do more for the master than when engaged in active service. The work of gaining salvation is one of co-partnership, a joint operation. There is to be cooperation between God and the repentant sinner. This is necessary for the formation of right principles in the character. Man is to make earnest efforts to overcome that which hinders him from attaining to perfection. But he is wholly dependent upon God for success. Human effort in itself is not sufficient. Without the aid of the divine power, it avails nothing. God works and man works. Resistance of temptation must come from man who must draw his power from God. On the one side, there is infinite wisdom, compassion, and power. And on the other, weakness, sinfulness, absolute helplessness. God wishes us to have the mastery over ourselves, but he cannot help us without our consent and cooperation. The divine spirit works through the powers and faculties given to man. And if I might add commentary just this once, that was one of the best descriptions I've ever read of the relationship between faith and works.